So now we have the, so here we go. the tack on the tack, the halyard is raised. Halyard's raised. We've got our port jib sheet active sheeted there. in. What yeah. active sheet? Spinner sheet. Yeah. Uh, Spinnaker sheet. That. Spin sheet. Sheeted in. Mm -hmm. Okay. And our uh, lazy sheet little is little. lazy sheet is around in front of the tack. Mm -hmm. So she's set for outside jives. Yeah. I think the camera's a little low. I think it is. Well, let me get behind it and see. Or you can bring it in. It's aiming kind of at your wristwatch, so yeah. I'll, um, I'll go like this because if we get too close, I'm afraid it might come. Oh, yeah. yeah, now it's aiming at the bottom. Now it's aiming at Okay. So, spinnaker on, on four. We're going uh, 0.2 knots and zero knots of wind. Now, <laughs> uh, something that I came to realize, I guess. Yeah was in terms of viewing everything was that the jib sheet deck forestay make a window. Yeah. These are the windows. Yeah. These are the windows through which we can pull it mm -hmm. and uh, release it. Mm -hmm. um, so if these are nice and tight. Yeah. Then it's easy. Then you have a, a nice almost cage. like a, exactly. Yeah. There's it's a tetrahedron, right? And got yesterday the base and three faces. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yesterday he was ducking underneath to mm -hmm. do this. And, yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, that's basically what it comes down to. Now, how do we go about getting control of it? That's something we'll have to figure out. Mm -hmm. But in terms of at least stashing it yeah. and uh, redeploying it, Without it being a rat's nest, um, yeah, it's it's getting it in. So let's say we bring it down on this side. Mm -hmm. So uh, if we grab the lazy sheet, like we were thinking about. So on the active side here again. Yeah. You gotta go on the active side of the foot. Right. Because right now you're gonna pull it forward, so you gotta grab it from right here. Okay. Right. So active side of the foot. That's gonna go sure underneath the mean. sail. Yeah. Oh. And that goes to me. So grab it from. Oh, so behind the force. Through the window. Yes, otherwise we wrap it around yeah, the Yeah, it's got to go through this window for sure. Go through that window. Oh. But grabbing it on the other side of this, that's what you're Foot. saying, yeah. right? That so, so that the sheet is along the. So this is the active side. Like right? if you grab it here. Where you grab it here, you're right, there is a difference. Yeah, there is a huge difference. Because yeah. it's going to pull in the, the lazy sheet from, it's going to pull in like this. Whereas if yeah. you grab it on this side, it's got to pull the lazy sheet around. Yeah, right. So you have to grab that okay. on the active side. On the other side mm -hmm. of the tack. That goes to me. Okay. And then I pull and it. And now we release the tack. Okay, now we release the tack. sheet is released, right? Yep. yep. So now you bring in as we bring in as much as we no, can. We the halyard. And you're watching. You'll probably <coughs> be able to see when we need halyard before we even realize. Yeah, I can't see anything up there. But yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can okay. I can feel it. <laughs> yeah. Because because right. there's wind blowing, and that's what one thing I noticed. There was various tensions, right? Yeah. And then all of a sudden you yelled out, "You know, release the halyard!" And then and then I realized, oh yeah, it's it's. It's we're at the, the point now where you're fighting the halyard and you're not going to win. We've gotten to the halyard, but I couldn't tell we were there yet. You know and I, I mean? can tell because I've got the two lines below me, right? And I've got the bundle yeah. that you're passing me, and yeah. all the tensions up. So, so take it, take it down, and let's see where our sheets end up here. So then okay, so most of those lines the stay there. Okay, okay. okay. Release. Release. And that's just the slot. can you yeah. hand? And that's just yeah. Gil bundling it up. So it's yeah. coming through the window. Yeah. yeah. There it is. And now it's it below. We could actually fly our I like where the tack is. I like that the tack is below mm -hmm. the jib lines. And we've got the halyard above the jib sheets, but that's not uh, not consequential. It shouldn't be. We should be able mm -hmm. to leave that halyard on 
and either leave this flopping and have the jib just push it out of the yeah, way. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Or tack it off to yeah. the stay or shroud. A little bit of expansion yep. corner with all those little switchy yep. knots. Exactly. Yeah. Just, just to meet something. But it shouldn't get, prevent yeah. us from getting deployed yeah. and on Especially course. If, what I'm saying is you tack it on this stupid little knot back here somewhere beyond the overlap of the jib. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's totally not in the Falling along one of the shrouds, and yeah. it's completely out of the way. Yeah. And that's just something we can do when we're cleaning up all the spanker mm -hmm. lines and whatnot. Mm -hmm. We've already got Because, yeah, I think detaching it 